All right, so here's a quick tutorial on how to get geometry from your Revit model into Rhino. In this case, I've got Revit 2021 running up here, and I've got the Rhino Inside Revit plugin loaded. So what you've got to do is open your Rhino file. In this case, we've got a blank thing going on here, and then you're going to start Grasshopper. So I haven't seen too many tutorials about how to do this, so I thought I'd make a quick one. Um, all you gotta do is go into the Revit, prim Revit primitives and load the graphical element. Put that down here, and then you can also put down a panel. And with this put down, it'll kind of show you what data it's collecting. So we'll go into here, and then from there you're gonna go over to uh, where is it? Revit, yes here. Under elements, element geometry, put that down, and we'll connect this to there. And you can also put down one of these if you want to grab it. Um, so then all you've got to do is go into graphical element and set a graphical element. In this case, I was using it to grab geometry from my Revit model, like these kitchens. And if you've got things grouped all together, you can just select the entire group. As you can see, it's bringing it in. Then you just go in here. You can see it's grabbing your uh, B-reps. It's telling you what group it's got. And you just go into bake. And we can close this out. Make this full screen. Type ZS to center your zoom on here. And now you've got all your Revit geometry. You can go to render and you can see it better. And this brings stuff in really well. I really like the detail it comes in. It's all individually um, editable. This is great for, you know, they come in as poly surfaces, um, not meshes. Um, that's one issue that I've had. If you export uh, ACIS solids or FBX files, you get you, a lot of times you get meshes and it's really, really um, frustrating. <laughs> so um, this will make it a lot easier to get your geometry into uh, Rhino 7 and it will let you um, do whatever you need to once you've got it in there. Thanks for watching.